Okay, let's talk about surface loading rate, also known as hydraulic loading rate. This can apply, this calculation can apply to a lot of different things in the plant. What we're specifically talking about right now is a primary clarifier or could be a secondary clarifier. And it's expressed in gallons per day per square foot. Uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to tell you um, a nuanced math problem that you're going to need to know for your grade two. But just bear with me and um, I'll talk about that when we're done with this math. So surface loading rate is gallons per day per square foot. Here. We're given a flow of 0.25 mgd flowing through a 30 foot diameter clarifier that's eight and a half feet tall and we've got 350 milligrams per liter in that 0.25 million gallons per day. Well, what's our hydraulic loading rate? The first thing we need to do is decide what over here we need. Do we need any of this information? Do we need all of this information? No, we need half of this information. We need these two. We do not need these two. So it's gallons per day per square foot. Uh, just, just use the, and especially if you're on a multiple choice math question, use the units if, you're, if you forget that surface loading rates, gallons per day per square foot, look at the answer and they typically have the units for you and you can reverse engineer the math problem. So it's pretty, pretty makes it a little easier. Uh, we don't need the height for square foot. If you're confused as to why, go back into my uh, area video and go watch how we find the area of a circle. And we don't need BOD. That's an organic loading uh, variable. So we are looking just for the flow over the area of the clarifier. So the first thing I did is I converted 30 foot diameter to square feet. So that's 0.785 diameter squared, uh, which is 0.785 times 30 foot times 30 foot. 0.785 times 900 feet squared gives us 707 square feet. That's the area of the clarifier. If you're confused on how I got that, please go check out my area video or ask questions down below. Happy to answer. Flow. Well, we have a million gallons a day. We need to convert it to gallons per day. So very simply, we multiply 0.25 by a million. So 0.25 MGD times 1 million gallons per day per 1 MGD. I wrote it like that so you can see me canceling out the MGDs and how we ended up with gallons per day. It's 250,000 gallons per day. Okay. 250,000 gallons per day divided by 707 square feet is 353 gallons per day per square foot, and we are done. That is a surface loading rate calculation for a clarifier. Okay, so I promised that if you stuck around, you'd get a little tip about a nuanced way to do this problem, and you will be tossed grade twos. I don't know if a grade one is gonna get this in California, grade two, class C, um, since you guys are pretty much the grade one and two, uh, from, that's my understanding anyway. If you've taken the C, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you're gonna probably be tossed a surface loading rate to a trickling filter, okay? That has a recycle stream or a circulation. It'll be uh, written as a QR, or you might see, uh, you know, you've got a flow plus a recirculation rate of, you know, X gallons. What you do there is you add the flow and the recirculation rate together, and then you do the problem again, uh, just like we did it right here. So it's all the flow going over the uh, media or whatever the thing is you're doing. In that case, it's a trickling filter. I'll do that math problem when we get to trickling filters. But if you're taking a test next week and I haven't put the video out, just know that you add the recycle stream. Um, and, and the reason you do that on a trickling filter is it's very specific um, technology that requires recirculation. So there's, a, there's an actual ratio uh, depending on what kind of trickling filter you have. There's high rate, there's standard rate, there's, there's roughing filters, there's all sorts of different types of trickling filters. Um, and so they're going to have corresponding recirculation rates. I hope I didn't confuse you with that, but if you are taking a, an exam soon and I don't have a video up about it, I wanted you to at least know that you add the recir recirculation rate um, to the uh, flow rate to get your total hydraulic loading on a trickling filter. Okay. With that, please ask questions as always. Uh, like, subscribe, help grow the channel. Uh, tell your friends. If you got any friends studying, please send them my way. I'm, I'm super happy. I'm starting to get a lot of requests from people for specific information. So uh, hopefully I can keep up with it. I'm super happy to help though. Please, please ask questions and we will see you in the next one.